Hey everyone, this is Friedel Hopper, AJ Raven, and I'm back with my recap and review of Pokemon Sun and Moon, the anime, which is episode 138. So in this episode, we're going to see Ash versus Gladio. I mean, considering that Ash hasn't won a Pokemon League, there are some people who think that Ash might end up winning the Alolan League, but let's see what happens. Oh, I wasn't expecting Ash's mom and Professor Oak to come to watch the league. This is a nice surprise. Oh, and that's Ash's stepfather, I guess. But yeah, this is a pleasant surprise. Again, I would have liked Misty and Brock to have come too, but this is good as well. So Professor Oak is appreciating this new Pokemon, Melton, and that's a flash cannon right in his face. So Melton has been summoning other other Melton for quite a while now. So it's interesting to see what what will happen when they come together. Now the start of the episode did say that one of Ash's Pokemon is going to evolve. So is Melton going to be going to be you know evolving in this episode? Let's see what happens. So Melton is evolving. I'm not really sure if I can call it an evolution. It looks like a fusion to me, but let's see, there are two professors, three, so let's see what they have to say. So this is the new evolution, it looks like a steel type. Oh, so it's a metal now, after evolving or fuse, fusing or whatever you want to call it. Professor Oak seems to have read about it in some old books. A fusion, like I said, it's a fusion. I'm not really sure if I can call it an evolution. Mm, yeah, I think Professor Oak is like, we can call it an evolution because of convenience. So it does look strong. It feels like a metal fighting type. Yeah. It's quite strong, so it's interesting to see if Ash ends up using it in his battle with Gladio. What if... okay, uh-huh. I mean, they are repeating a lot of animation and I guess they're trying to pad the episode. Ultra Twill Splash Punch. No, that doesn't work, Ash. Two punches launched by Iron Robot, like Iron Robot. Double Iron Dash. That's a better name. So Ash's stepfather is recording the battle. Such a supportive stepfather, you know. And he, uh, yeah, he took out uh, Melmetal. So it's Melmetal against Silverly. Silverly? Silverly? This is going to be an interesting uh, battle. Yeah, everyone is surprised. They haven't seen Melmetal before. Yeah. What are you going to do, Gladio? And the battle begins. <laughs> Melmetal is not listening to Ash. Silver D. So I think Gladio is going to win somehow. Because Melmetal is totally inexperienced. So he's using his uh, double impact punch, whatever that was. And he does have powerful punches, but it won't mean a thing if they don't hit. Okay. And that's one. And Silverdy dodged. And it's a double. Yeah. They are reusing animation a lot. And Silverdy got. Oh, oh, Silvadi. Again, double iron bash. Does it know, does it even know other moves? Yeah, they're re reusing the animation too much. They are padding the episode. We, I don't want to keep seeing this again and again. Air flash. And one. What's happening? Why is this? Bo 
It can elongate its arms. I didn't know that. That is a powerful Pokemon to take down. Okay. Again. Okay, so Silvity is able to dodge, so that's good. But what are you gonna do about it, Silvity? That's a break up. Flash cannon! A direct hit. Silvity is seriously injured. You, you gotta think of something, Gladio. I don't want you to lose. Not like that. You might see their victory scene as Shiren. <laughs> okay, so run in a zigzag pattern to dodge its hits. You know, get close and get a hit in. Oh. oh. Again with the reused animation, I don't want to keep seeing this every time it uses an attack. And this is a one. One. And that's a hit. That hurt. Okay. Fight claw, claw with claw, fang with fang. So. Fighting is weak against fighting, I guess. I'm not really sure though. Fight memory, uh huh. Multi attack, yeah. Melmetal is done for. You can already tell that that Gladio won. He's he's yeah. It dodged and Melmetal's out. Melmetal was too inexperienced for battle, especially during the fin finals of an Alolan League. Ash should have thought this out better. One and... Uh -huh. Yeah, it's losing. Oh! Another hit! Oh, it's tired. I mean, it's kind of a fun battle, but not too much. I was expecting more from a final round. Oh, yeah, Mel Metal's out. You did good. You gained a lot of experience, Mel Metal. So it's Pikachu versus an injured Silver D. So let's see what happens. I think Pikachu is going to win. It has to. Ash lost a Pokemon. Gladio needs to lose a Pokemon too. And that leaves Gladio with what? A Zoroark? And a Lugal Lugavga? That weird fox type hound thing? Okay, so quick attack and... <gasps> Oh, Silver is too fast. It can keep up with Pikachu's speed. And Pikachu got hit. Dodge it. But Silver is able to keep up with Pikachu's speed even though it's using a quick attack. Now, this is a good battle. I'm enjoying it already far more than I did that uh, Melmetal fight. It sure is. Electroweb. That's the new Pokemon Pikachu move we saw in this anime. I, I do like it, Electroweb. Yeah, Electroweb covers a wide area, but still with D speed, we can still dodge it. Of course, Ash has a plan and he's like, throw the Electroweb, but this time in front of you. I think we saw this scene in the preview for this episode. Silver D dodges. Using quick attack again. He's gonna dodge it. Pikachu is going to use the electroweb like they do in wrestling matches, in wrestling rings. And he's going to use that force to attack Silver D. And Iron Tail. And Silver D's done. It's already way too hurt. Yeah. 
So Ash won. Ash lost one battle, and now Gladio, like one one battle. So, but they have lost one Pokemon each. They only have two left. So, what are you going to take out now, Gladio? Uh, his Lugar Lugarun, or whatever this Pokemon is called. Night days. Night days. Is that a freaking Zoroark? It's a Zoroark, right? Because Zoroark is supposed to know illusions. Yeah, night days. It's a Zoroark. Come on, Ash. Use your brain. You should be able to know about this. But I think he doesn't know that Gladio has a Zoroark, so that's why he doesn't understand that, because we know that Gladio has a Zoroark. So that's why Ash, like, can't make a connection, because he doesn't know. Shadow Claw, yeah. Confirm that's a Zoroark. So that's one hit from Pikachu's side, and I think this should be enough to break the illusion. Yeah, it was a Zorar. Oh, her husband's Pokemon. But it's kind of interesting to see Pokemon using their illusion powers right as they come out of the Pokeball to kind of throw off the opponent. That's a good move. What you're gonna do now, Pikachu? So that's a dark type Pokemon against an electric type Pokemon. This is going to be interesting. Who is going to win? Satoshi or Gladio? It might end up being a draw. So in the preview we have Zoroark fighting Pikachu with the Lo during the Lolan Leagues. Oh, uh, uh, Ash takes out his Luga Lugaran as well. Mm -hmm. Who's talking? Is that Gladio's dad? So this is interesting to see, yeah. Even though it's like three on three during the finale, final battle, because I thought that the final battle was going to be six on six, but even though it's three on three, it's still kind of exciting, and I do look forward to watching what happens in the next episode. Also, if you guys don't know, uh, there is a new Pokemon anime being revealed. I think we'll get to find out more about it by this week or something. And apparently it's an anime that's set across the, all of the regions uh, we have currently seen in the Pokemon the franchise. We have, it's going to start I don't know if it's going to start in Kanto, but we'll have Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, even the new Galar region. So that will be interesting to see because, again, I really, really hope that we end up getting more episodes featuring Brock and Misty. Maybe it will be like Pokemon Chronicles. Who knows? But yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.